And I went over quickly here to Johns Hopkins. They have a current molecular and antigen test. And if you notice, we did this before, but this is in ascending order of the dates. So as we can see, October 8th, 2020, there's a new rapid antigen test by Access Bio. I'm oh, looking for them. Okay, they have that something called the Care Start. It's the antigen test by this company called Access Bio. Pitchbook says they're a publicly traded company. They have a stock symbol of 950130. What is up with that symbol? Well, they're traded in Korea. Here's a bit of a look at their website. They basically have the COVID-19 IgM slash IgG. It's a rapid diagnostic test. You can take a look at it right there. It's called the Care Start. It does have FDA EUA approval, as you can see here. An interesting thing about this, results are available in 10 minutes, which Abbott, Quidel, and Beckton Dickinson, all theirs take 15. So this will sign this five minutes. It also lists some performance about the specificity and sensitivity, which looks pretty standard, NIH, NCI. But these are very similar to what we've seen before. They do have some other products, but you're gonna notice that most of these are uh, test kits. So they have the they have a PCR one, they have the one we just looked at for the nasal swab. They say they have new ones coming soon, and then they have a bunch of products that are not for sale in the United States. So, um, you know, okay. Uh, the Care Start, I guess, test? I mean, that's weird. I don't know why they would say it's not for sale in the U.S., but I guess it's not. They have dengue fever, flu, rotavirus, strep, RSV+, plus, malaria. So they just do a lot of testing, a lot of test kits. Syphilis, the Rona that we saw, they have some analyzers, the KRU, the cartridge, the Care Start S I uh, S1 analyzer. Looks like for hemoglobin. But almost all these things are not for sale in the United States. So it looks like they're really new to working with maybe the FDA. But they did get the FDA approval. The Zika virus, dengue, HPV, gene care. What is this? STD12 detection kits. Okay, so they just have a lot of like uh, various kinds of test kits that they do. But almost none of them are available in the United States. I went over here to Yahoo Finance. I found them. They're trading on the KOSDAQ, which is a Korean. Um, trade in Korean won, so that's why this is so high, 34550 But like, if you go to find their income statement, there's nothing, or you gotta pay some premium access in order to get it from out here. So that's fine. Um, I did find that they filed something with the SEC in 2016. So they're not um, new, but they're not old. Somerset, New Jersey. Um, I mean, it's the same company, I'm just taking my word for it. I did find Reuters had some stuff from them. Um, just had to go to the Indian version of their website. Um, I'm not going to read it through here because there's another company that does it better. It's just more information. But they had about $200,000 in net income. Or $300,000 in net income after taxes. And they have about, where was it, 32 million shares outstanding. Basically equated average shares. So about 32 million shares. If you're really interested and you want to spend, as you can see, this upper right hand corner, $29.95, you can buy the whole report on this company from EMIS. I have no idea if they're good, but apparently they focus on companies related to the emerging markets. Move my little picture over here. Like you can see, it is the uh, same company, New Jersey. They're headquartered in um, Seoul. This is www.accessbio.net, takes us to the same site we we're just looking at. You can see some of their company performance, net sales in the light blue, dark blue is the profits. So 2019 they had negative profits, uh, but they've had three out of the four last, mm, this might be negative two, so maybe 50% of the time they've had profitable years. I've seen a lot of volatility in their net profit margin, that's their margin. So I don't know, but you can if you want to get this report, you can get it in English. I don't think you can trade this company actually through Schwab, now you might be able to with like TD Ameritrade or whatever other one that you have. If we look at this chart, this is, um, Maybe going back to July, August before they had their run-up, so maybe there was some news that came out about this. But they basically have had a uh, ten ton, tenfold increase. They were about 3,500 here in July, and now they're about 34,000. So almost a 10x with a big jump in August, August 19th. Just look at the ratios. This is from investing.com. Since we saw some of those ratios from those other companies, price to sales, $29. This is a stat that's used or ratio that's used often for companies that are pre pre earnings. I mean, not pre revenue, but um, you know they are not profitable yet. So startup, early companies, young companies. Um, so price to sales, $29. I saw a company. I, I can't remember who I reviewed recently. I think it was APKO. I don't know who it was. That was like $270 price to sales. So. Uh, price to book is 46, price to tangible book is 64. You can see some of their profitability. They had gross profit, 
as high as 30%, 12 trailing months, or a five-year average, about the same. Um, gross profit margin is basically your sales minus the cost. So if you're doing light bulbs, you sell them for five, it costs you $3 to make them, your gross profit margin is $2. Um, I don't know what I said, three or two, whatever. Um, so, but then after that, operating margin and some of these other things you have to take out. Um, selling administrative costs, your executive salaries and things like that. Which leaves a lot of these negative. So that's all I really have for you. The point of this, I just wanted to jump back and go through some of those ratios really quick with the um, with the big three. I don't know if you can even pick up access file. I don't know if you would want to. Um, it may be hard to get a lot more information on them. Certainly, it's probably flying under the radar. It did 10x already. So I mean, I don't know a lot of these other companies that we're looking at, Cordell, Abbott, Beckman Dickinson. They didn't 10x. You know, um, obviously, you're going to have to have some belief about their exposure to Asian or non-US markets. Which I mean, hey, there's a lot of people that live in Asia, so it could be great. Uh, I mean, it is faster at 10 minutes than any of the ones that we're looking at here at 15 minute tests for BDX, for Abbott, for Goodell, they're all saying 15 minutes, you know, and so to see one come on the market that does it in 10, who wouldn't like to say five minutes? I mean, I think we all would. That's all I really have. Hope you enjoy. We'll talk to you guys next time. Thanks.